Hello, hello, come on in. It's Friday again. Uh, um, when the Beatles first started getting really, really popular, the Queen made a royal command that they would perform for her at the London Palladium. And if you were lucky enough to have possibly been at that royal command performance, you would have seen a hot, hot Beatles show. And it would have been such a wonderful thrill. Can you imagine seeing the Beatles in, in a 2200 seat arena at the top of their career, and just becoming famous? They hadn't been to the uh, United States at this point, but they, um, when, when it came time to do their introductions, you know, for their very last song, John had a line that he just had to use, something like the uh, folks in the cheap seats just clap your hands and the uh, folks in the more expensive seats just rattle your, jewel your jewelry. Well, if you were a Beatle fan in 1963, 64, you could have had plenty of jewelry to jangle and rattle. And let's take a look at some of that. Some of the earliest pieces of Beatle memorabilia are these beautiful, beautiful pieces of jewelry that came in a variety of sizes and styles, everything from little necklaces to big necklaces to jewelry brooches with uh, the faces on the front and the autographs on the back. This is the, the flip side of, of the, the same pin right here. They made individual charms of each of the fabs, John, Paul, George, and Ringo across there. These have their names embossed on the back. A intricate pen with their names and instruments with a little pearl gem set, set on John's name there. A detailed, detailed ring with the same image there. A few more pieces, a tiny, tiny, tiny ring to go on the, the smallest thing of fingers with the, that one there. Hope that focuses on that okay. A uh, couple of other items of that same pattern and style. A charm bracelet here. A, another necklace t a type. A pen with a, a safety pin type latch on the back with just a, a little dangling charm with that. And a guitar, guitar with the uh, M... Uh, emblem in, inlaid there in the metal. More official beetle types of, of jewelry were made. This set of uh, jewelry here is quite rare in the color variety with a big, big uh, pendant there for a necklace and four individual frames, uh, uh, charms with the charm bracelet. These uh, are, are necklace type uh, charms that go with that same series, and these uh, were part of the same uh, pattern that uh, came with this, uh, that was on this cup uh, that we looked at a few few programs ago in uh, in the glassware. Got a uh, charm bracelet that spells out beetles. Got a charm bracelet with all their instruments and faces here. Uh, a different charm bracelet made by this same uh, company with uh, their names and instruments in place. Some uh, little charm bracelets with uh, a metal fob. I mean, sorry, a metal fob on this side and a leather fob on the other. Same here, different, uh, different colors and slightly different styles. Got a charm bracelet here that's got a, a leather backing with a metal uh, uh, charm across the bracelet. Another necklace fob. A huge leather necklace fob. Beautiful little. Can you see in the in? Yeah, you can see the the photos in that uh, in that necklace and the the charm that goes with that. A guitar brooch with an attach a way to attach it to your sweater or shirt on the back there. Come over to some other uh, pieces that use the actual images. Got a little tie clip there that's got a, some embossed heads. If you look at the way that affixed to your tie. Another necklace with images there. A, um, I guess that could be worn as either a necklace or a charm. More charms and necklaces. This, was, this is a little locket that's got a, a safety pin type attachment for your, to attach to your shirt sweater, a little locket with all kinds of photos 
in that locket booklet. And the booklet itself has a photo on the front. Another necklace using this uh, similar uh, as a hard day's night uh, picture sleeve. The word Beatles across your chest there. A record with the Beatles in in the center. Another look at this is some of the intricate detail that they put in this. Can you see how the Beatles is in uh, three dimensional effect on the front? And open that up. Oh, if I could open it. Yes, yes, yes. Open it up with a nice little ceramic charm or image on the inside of that. Beautiful, beautiful piece. This, this one again with the uh, elaborate uh, beetles on the front. This one comes as a metal locket with all four of the faces, if my fingers will work, to get those open for a nice little set of picture frames as a locket. There, beautiful piece. I love that one. These little leather booklets that also make the same type of locket fold out almost like a group of uh, postcards. These came in a variety of colors. Uh, there's a light blue one that came in red and black, several different colors. Um, a necklace made out of that uh, leather and metal fob. A huge heavy, this, this thing must weigh a pound, uh, with uh, the Beatles logo, our uh, names and autographs, very, very heavy on that one. Now we just go to some mop top type jewelry. Looking at the, the faces, uh, four faces around a banjo qualifies for, for a mop top jewelry, beetle, beetle jewelry. This little guy playing a guitar, little safety pin on the back to uh, attach to your clothes and sweaters. These two guys, one with, go these two with the googly eyes again. This one's a pen and this one is a pendant. Here we've got a tiny little tie tack or tie clasp, scarf clasp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word Beatles. This was a gift from a friend of mine at, at my old uh, old corporate job. Got that for me on his <laughs> on his honeymoon. Funny story about that one. We'll we'll get into that sometime again. And uh, a couple more images with uh, uh, a pearl used for the uh, faces of the Beatles. This um, this these have uh, cell tab and NIMS on the back. I'm going to show that over there too. Let's. Uh, you can see you can see it on this one pretty good that there's nims right in the guitar back of that one so just some m and let's see do we get down look, looking at these um more the some of the detail and intricacy that they put on on these jewelry pieces is just amazing for but to sell them for a dollar 17 or something like that in the stores all kinds of keychains were made about them and coming up here to the now we're really talking about some uh, mop top uh, possibly the Beatles I guess we get you got four uh, guys with their their mouths screaming uh, open on uh, on this series they made uh, pins and necklaces charm bracelets in two or three different varieties just the faces the faces and guitars and instruments this one didn't hardly whether that got finished or whether that was a, a fluke this one with uh, guitar i'm um, sorry uh, albums and heads there behind it this little guy and oh a set of pins with that same design and style too these are just tie tack type pins this little guy and another quite elaborate piece of, of jewelry here his head bobs his his feet dance and he's got a little an actual uh, like fur beetle beetle wig on but depends on how you spell beetles here now we're talking about beetle bugs with the four good luck beetles and a scatter pin of the beetles we've got this little guy obviously a beetle guitar player here and his guitar do this his guitar moves up and down so he can dance like John. <laughs> this beetle with the beetles over top of that one. Here's another elaborate intricate piece. This is a little beetle. And it's got four little dancing beetles on the inside of it too. Can you see the detail of that? Try to get that on my thumb like that. Yeah. A part of the... Uh, design like that C kind of crazy this little ladybug there yeah sure that's the beetles right turn it over and that's the beetles for sure <laughs> another fairly elaborate or intricately made necklace lots of dangles on that one a big big scary beetle there 
with some familiar faces right in the center as well. A lot of these items were sold on uh, pointer display cards in the stores. You might have found them, uh, some, some of these jewelry items on um, cards like that one for a different kind of charm bracelet, a companion guitar playing or a drummer for the guitar player that we saw over here on the table, a few different kinds of cards like uh, these for, for tie tacks, uh, a full body card like this one for uh, some of the other brooches and pins, a full color band uh, showing all four members with uh, the guitar pins, different styles of cards over here, the big splash card there for official Beatles pins, they, these are a couple of uh, uh, interesting pieces here. Lasso or lariat ties, bolo ties, what they might be called. This one. And this next one over here. And this one from the other table came with that too. You can see the bolo tie clasp on the back. Couple of uh, still different type, uh, different types of cards. Even the uh, the ink pen was sold on a uh, a blister pack there. Some less elaborate cards, but uh, from very very early days had just that that single image. What we're familiar with from the uh, um, I want to hold your hand picture sleeve there. Cuff link cards, tie clap clip cards, the lariat tie card tie tack cards and uh, a card like this one that was uh, came with a little uh, clip off uh, card for your uh, for your wallet to keep uh, a beetle card with you uh, to show you're an official beetle fan club member some uh, it's probably one of the most common uh, mem pieces of memorabilia were were these tie tacks that came on individual cards there uh, for one for each of the fabs and uh, very, very common uh, uh, all over the place where these were found, uh, the, gu the guitar pieces with um, some, sometimes there were records, sometimes there were beetle shapes, and um, a couple of, couple of these had some variations. Ringo had uh, uh, the, the standard collared suit variety as well as a turtleneck variety. The Beatles band Pay, uh, guitar had a four color picture and a black and white picture to go with that one too so a couple of variations there all kinds of if so if you were if you were one of the lucky few one of the lucky 2200 that was able to uh, be in in that royal command performance uh, you you had your choice of uh, jewel, jewelry to, to rattle at, uh, at John's request for sure most of this jewelry stuff, if you've been watching the programs before, most of that usually lives in uh, in this case right here. And that's just one of the, the bonuses of doing these little shows like this, that uh, I get to get all my, my toys out. If you're a collector, you know how, how we, we love to both show it off and, and to handle it, fondle it, and fetish with it a little little bit just to, just to enjoy it. So I appreciate you uh, watching, watching my program. And um, next Tuesday, I'm going to do another encounter story with uh, a man that inspired one of my very, very favorite Beatles songs. And it's not Timothy Leary, but kind of close. See you next time. Peace and love. Science.